Have a nice time? I'll play. Jack's awfully handsome. Such a smooth dancer. Mom, how can I tell if... I mean, how did you know Come when on. you were in love with Dan? Means. Oh, I've been in love several times before. I got so I could recognize the symptoms. Several times? Mm-hmm. And each time I thought I'd found my Prince Charming. Most people fall in love quite a few times in their lives. Well, then, how can you tell when you're really in love? Well, I'll have to think about that. Let's say tomorrow, shall we? All right. Good night. Good night, dear. Most people fall in love quite a few times. I wonder if Jack knows that. Cold blood. I suppose. Oh, no. That's over with. You know, Bob, Nora's the prettiest girl I've ever known. She's just as beautiful as... Beautiful? And you think that's all that matters?
Squad. Peace. Bob, did you feel this way when you fell in love with Jean? Oh, look. I've felt that way lots of times. The trouble with you is, you don't seem to understand what love is really about. You young punks go to the movies a couple of times, do a little necking, and you think you're in love. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. All I wanted to do was ask. You don't have to get sore about it, do you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, but, but look at it this Mind. way. Beats. Nothing like the slush they give you in the movies. Well, I don't know, Bob. That's right. You don't know. Maybe you would understand better if... Say, I've got an idea. How'd you like to double date with Gene and me tomorrow night? Why, sure, Bob. That would be swell. Sure you wouldn't mind? Not cool. You let me get some sleep now? Uh, Do it. Right.
loads of fun. Mm -hmm. See you tonight. Goodbye. Guess what, Mother? Jack and I are going on a double date with Jack's brother Bob and his girlfriend. They're engaged and so much in love. I've met Bob. I think he's awfully nice. Mm, I do, too. And speaking of love, weren't you and I going to talk about that today? Yes, we were. I've been thinking about your question and... Well, suppose we look at these snapshots together, hmm? Snapshot? Mm-hmm. Well, what do they have to do with love? Oh, I was just thinking that they might help you to understand how your capacity for love grows and develops just as you grow and develop. Here, look at this one. Oh, Mother, did you have to keep that? Every baby loves its parents for their care and protection. Of course, some people expect that care and protection all their lives. They never grow up. But it is a kind of love. Now, compare that with this picture. Oh, that's the boy who used to live next door. My, how he did love his teddy bear. Love? That's right. That's a kind of love, too. Possessiveness. A love for the things you own. Some of us never get over being possessive when we're in love, do we? You're beginning to understand. Oh, do you remember this picture? The captain of the football team. That was two or three years ago. He never knew how much I loved him. I guess he never knew I existed at all. <laughs> well, we all go through crushes like that on teachers or sports stars or movie stars. Oh, look, there's the couple who met at camp last summer. <laughs> I certainly caught them. Yes, and that's another stage where the physical side of love dominates. Sometimes this is mistaken for mature love, but there's a difference. Mature love. That's a new way of thinking about it. How can you tell when love is mature? Well, mature love is more settled. Mature love has something of the other kind of love in it and something more. It's tender, unselfish, cooperative. When I get serious about somebody, Mom, I want to have that kind of love.
meet.